Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my frog playthrough, guys. Now, we have moved on a couple of turns from last time. Um, not honestly, so we can skip stuff, which was boring, just me building up and getting myself in a position to do the attack. Not, not anything to do with my microphone mysteriously deciding to not work, and I decided to cut that chunk of time, which was boring out. Completely planned, honestly, guys. Yeah, right. Uh, so we're, we're about to hit Karak. Karaka Drak here. We've just been building up our siege, equi uh, siege equipment and we should be pretty much ready to go next turn. Um, now, we can't, a lot of our units are monstrous and monstrous units can't go over walls and use siege equipment so we are going to be using them to hit the uh, gates. So we'll break through their gates with our monstrous unit and we'll hit the walls with everything else guys. To try and then try and surround their main sort of defensive body and rout them. That is the plan anyway. This is going to be a hard fight, guys, because as you've seen... Oh, and to the person who asked me to remember, we, we now have this equipped. So, uh... No, so this is going to be a hard fight, as you can see. Um, let's get this armor-piercing on my Marauder Champions. Could just make give frog more arm. How much arm piercing does frog actually have? Um, he's, he's got quite a bit of armor piercing damage. Okay, so let's fight this. As I said, this is going to be a bit of a slog of the battle, guys, because obviously we've got a lot of Dowie to kill here, but a lot of Dowie to push through and break. So uh, we're going to have to be a bit careful. Well, not too careful. We're going to have to take our time. Well, not even necessarily take our time. We want to be nice and aggressive. But at the same time, we don't want to let ourselves be goaded into making attacks we don't want to do. Um, but we are just going to have to batter down the gate. So, first thing first, you guys can form up. They're just going to charge the gate. You guys can go on this side, you'll be hitting the wall there. These guys will go on this side and they'll be hitting the wall there. And you guys are going to back up each side. Frost Drake is going to be used where he's needed. These guys, I was going to say I'll walk them so they're not going fast, but actually with the amount of firepower coming in, we actually want to get these guys forwards quite quickly. You're going to fly straight behind and try and deal with that artillery as quickly as we can. Take that out. But one of the first things we want to do is we want to break that gate. We also want to use some of Frog's abilities. Let's spit up there. Can I spit up there? Oh, never mind. Let's... Uh, Let's drop some lighting there, and that'll hit everything on there as well. And not too much damage, but still nice. Oh wow, why are you guys not down here hitting the walls? I can't believe I forgot to put those, didn't put those guys in this group. Okay, we're through the gate, let's charge in there. Mr. Frost Drake, you can do some breathing on these guys. That'll do nicely. You're gonna, you're gonna, um, hmm. You can drop onto these guys here, actually. Okay, let's, uh, let's check Frog's buffs, because Frog does have a few nice buffs here. Let's pop his physical resistance, buff up his damage, and buff everybody around me as well. Right now, this is just a, a, a mash through here, guys. As you can tell, I do have the Blood for Blood God mod on. I am actually using a mod which is less Blood for the Blood God, which means that you do still get blood, but it's not quite as ridiculous, guys. I'm not a huge fan of it, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm getting tempted to turn it off. So I just don't like the way they do the effects. I think they're a little excessive. You can go up. You two units can hit them. You can hit them, you can 
You can charge down to them, actually. You can come over here, please. You can get airborne again and breathe again, because when we breathe, this guy breathing is actually really quite effective. Let's hit them. As you see. Who oh, no, let's get up on these guys. I don't want my dragon down in there. Dragon, dragon, go support these guys up here. Now is our time. That Thane is yes. going to be a pain. Right, let's ignore the Thane for now. Let's break this unit so we can get in and actually throw some support to my guys. Because we're getting a little stuck here. I'm going to clip some of my own, but we're far more likely to hit the Dowie there. The thing is, the Dowie are resistant, so this could be a bit of a mess, but we'll see how it goes. You can see there's a lot of Dowie where we're actually hitting. Uh, yeah, we got a few good hits on the Dowie there. Um, we are slowly working our way through there, but we are getting very pounded, actually. I hate the Dwarves. You can see just how tough they are. You can take off again, we're going to breathe and then jump into the back here to support. Uh, that single Thane is holding up an entire unit, but Thanes are hero units, so they should be the equivalent of a unit, let's be honest. Um, let's hit there. That's good, and that's cracked a few units. Let's land. Oh, they're getting a bit swarmed there. Let's keep this pressure on. My hounds can actually chase down some of these units which are fleeing. Actually, both of my hounds can get into here, as can some of my skin wolves. The nice thing about skin wolves is they are quite fast, guys. Break a couple of tree units, trolls off to support over here. Let's frog himself. Hmm. The Lord is over there. These guys are struggling. I say that they're actually they're not losing. They're just just having to deal with this annoying fame. Wow, my uh, doggies are losing there. This has just become a bit of a mess over here, actually. Let's uh, try and focus in on this full unit here. You can fly over and hit them next. My spears are still holding here. They're keeping them at bay by just being long-ranged, but... uh. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do great there. But they're holding them for the moment. That's all I can really ask. Okay, we've made short work of them. Let's turn and hammer into the back of this on mass. Now, the weight of us charging, even though they're dwarves and they are solid, you know. Wow, you can see just how tough they are. I mean, even though we're breaking them, it's, it's so hard for us to push through the sheer mass of dwarf units. And I think that's the mass route, guys. Oh, that was a, a tough old battle, actually. Um, you know, it took us quite a bit of breaking through them. But we did nicely. And my dragon did well and frog did well. So we got through them. It just took quite a bit of pushing. But it was always going to be a tricky battle. You know, they had a full garrison and a full army on top of that garrison, guys. Even though they weren't attacking out, they were very well dug in there. So uh, to, to clear them out of that hold was, a, was something worth doing. Right. Now, I actually know I don't get anything if I attack it. So we are going to sack this place. And next turn, we're going to go back in and raise it again for... Ooh. Hmm. See, I like having... I've got to be... Do I have to be at 30 to get the bonus? Or am I already at level 1 now? 
No, I need 30, so we're going to keep going on the eagle to start with. Sorry, serpent to start with. Time for a feeding. So next turn, we'll turn around and we'll finish that off again. Um, hmm... Replenishment for all. That's nice. Um, I have the gods is also very nice. But no, we're buffing up our troops to start with. Um, let's start going down this one to buff up my warriors a bit more. Because we are always going to potentially have a few warriors in our in our, in our our armies. Disorder. He has leveled up. We've already got Vicious Assault, which buffs everybody around him. We're going to keep pushing that one up. I mean, it could have gone for defensive one, but we're going. We're, we are going to be an aggressive army, so we're going to keep pushing that offensive one up. Hmm. Yeah, being able to get familiar warriors. It's worth it because you can see they are they are nice units, um, and we'll be able to. Me and Belfine, so they are. What are they? Are they hybrid? We'll find out when we get one. And being able to get frost worms is also good, but the Vimir warriors with great weapons are also very good damage. But they are anti large, whereas these guys are just straight normal damage. That Sunder is also very good. I'm not going to grab this here unless I need it because we, we, we will be doing most of that stuff from over here. Um, I'm going to knock that over because I'm going to be building this one up. So I want to get this place being built up next. Um, ah, we might need one of these for our war shrine, however. Yes, for our war shire. Um... Which is through... No. So yeah, get ourselves mammoths. Because those mammoths, those war mammoths are also good. Uh, what does the Warshire one do? What does that Warshire give us? Favour of Varuna's powers. Uh, adds fire damage and makes it unbreakable. Um, is that... It's a giver of glory. Um, immune to attrition. Let's check these guys. So yeah, he's basically just a better version. He has extra things uh, which give us uh, extra leadership around him and and that so they're they're very good but even the base ones base war mammoths are very nice and having a few of them in and they've got people who shoot on top of them obviously so uh yeah they do do constant range damage um i almost think they're potentially better than these guys but what do we need for them you need a ruinous kiln So yeah, we're going to get one of these there as well um, and push that one up. Okay. So we're going to raise that Dowie settlement. The reason I'm raising that Dowie settlement for now, guys, is simply because I'm, I'm going to do it to one of the powers. But also, it doesn't actually give us any real... Well, no, it doesn't give us negatives taking it, but we do also want to be raising settlements because raising settlements helps us. Uh, we can we can raise them for the glory of the gods. So actually, I will raise them. And there's a possibility somebody else will move in there later on, who I can then start raiding and picking at picking on. Um, it would almost be quite nice for Skaven to take there over and we take their main place, and I can just use it as somewhere to raid and build up arm, um, you know, blood armies to start with. But no, we're gonna smash that. I'm going to raise it for the serpent. Um, 
which ups us again. So we are now at 18 of 60. So 18 of 30. We've leveled ourselves up. And those those dwarves are now gone. I could potentially resettle here. Yeah, we're going to do that actually. Because uh, I don't want to really leave it behind us. And these things do help, you know, sacking settlements. Oh, adjacent in this region. Uh. Actually, no, all this is going to be adjacent, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. Ooh, oh, let's use some of our regiments of renown, actually. We've not been doing that. You guys can merge. Let's get these guys who are basically just slightly better, I assume. Yeah, they're just ever so slightly better. And uh, let's replace my warhounds with these warhounds. Who are also anti large. Okay. I'm not really fussed about my, my warhounds or my marauder hunters because I don't really use them. Um, so, berserkers, but champions, they're the ones I want to up most because I'm probably always going to have some champions in armies. Alright, we're going to take a while to build ourselves back up, uh, but we are going to, obviously we're going to be, next target is Kislev, guys. And we're going to start playing with Kislev and start battering them back, um, pushing them back in, back towards the Empire, and trying to, you know, raid and pillage their territory for income, which will be nice. We'll get a, we'll, we'll probably keep um, the, the ports, we'll keep, inland we'll raid, we'll sack, we'll uh, raise, you know. We'll do all those fun things, guys, to build up our income. Basically, what we want to do is we want to slowly work our way through them and weaken them. An unworldly gift. Extra replenishment. That's actually what we really needed at the moment. So That'll do nicely. My challenge... Undeniable. Right, we want to recruit an ice troll, but we're going to want to double time you up to here to do it. Execute. Well, we're actually quicker going to Winterpire. I do want to start using him soon. We're probably going to build him up an army shortly. Um, let's keep checking on our income generation. I want to keep that up, as I said, guys. I want to get that, actually. Even though I know they're not particularly high level, leveling them up is good. So this place is interesting, because here I can probably capture as a full settlement. Now, what I want to know is if I capture help it, do I get all of the slots or just a few? If I get all of the slots... Help it is really, really good for us to take. So we're probably going to look at taking help it sometime relatively soon, actually, guys. As soon as the Skaven move out of there and give me a chance, I'm probably going to look at sliding in and trying to capture here as a forward outpost. Because it will, I believe it's going to be a full settlement. I don't know how big I'll be able to grow that, though. Hopefully I'll be able to grow it to full size, which would be quite, quite good. Okay, we're going to walk up to the border. They do have a big army there of very cheap units, so that's not too bad. Hmm... So we can get some other units now. Ooh, let's have a look at some of these guys. I 
but you always want to go fire. I prefer, prefer fire. Uh, misshapen. Enemy leadership. We know that buff up the enemy leadership. Let's try him. So what is he? He's just a straight caster. Okay, so he's going to come down and join my army. So he's something odd. He's going to start heading this way to join my main army. We'll, we'll clear something out for him. Um, oh, he's leveled up again. Okay. Now what I want to know is, is there a way I can lower my global recruitment time? Because that would be quite good for us, actually. Uh, to be able to reduce our recruit, our local recruitment time would help us a lot. Because then we'd be able to, uh, once again, we'd be able to uh, start recruiting things quicker. Sorry, global recruitment time. Getting things recruited quicker globally would be quite nice. Hmm. Okay, you're going to pull into Winter's Pyre and recruit yourself some Ice Trolls. The Eternal Challenger. The correct path. Uh, is it worth waiting for the Armoured Mammoths? They don't, do take longer. They've got a lot more. But they also do the range, constant range damage. Um, and they have more armor. Hmm. I'm not going to do too much for now. As I said, for now, I'm not that fussed. Um, what's their garrison like? Not great. Where is their capital? But the other thing I could do is I could keep them. They've got quite a big garrison. There we go. We're now all kids left. Potentially I'm going to get hit up here. That's not a huge worry. Let's have some fun, guys. Lots and lots of lobby infantry for us to slaughter here. These pistoliers are going to be the thing which are going to be the biggest pain. So my dragon is going to try and deal with them. My dragon and my wolves are going to deal with them. Um, here's the plan. Uh, my large units are going to batter the rest of them into non-existence. I obviously didn't pick up one of the regiments of renown. I thought I did. Near the mind. You guys can go in the centre. In fact, you guys can go out to the edges just a little bit more. Alright. Trolls. Two trolls each flank. Skin wolves. One can go on the flank, one can go in the middle, one can go on the flank. Um, and our doggies can sit in the middle to go where they're needed. Are they actually pushing forwards? No. Let's double time ourselves forwards. Dragon is going to come and breathe. Obviously not dropping down there. That would be a bit daft. Pulling straight back out of that archer fire. Frog can also breathe at them. That will do nicely. Wow, we, we should have moved ourselves a bit more solidly. And a bit more of a, a solid formation there. 
My infantry are slow. Here they come, guys. You guys can push out to the side. You guys can chase down them. And you can pull up straight in the back. You guys can just find ourselves a nice gap in the You guys can just hit their lord. You guys can slam into them en masse. Same here. They are anti-large, but against all three units, they're not going to last long. There we go. Watch them get slaughtered there, guys. I mean, they are anti-large, but yeah. Dragon, you can breathe on them, then you can drop in. Again, over here, we're even against swords. That really isn't a problem. You guys can charge straight over to deal with these guys. You can drop in on these. Hammer into them, we're breaking through nicely here. Oh, we're not even using our buffs. Let's just fold into the back of these guys. And you can just push through to get behind to help them. You know, you guys can slam into them. I can't control him anyway now. Drop straight in on them, please. Ah, this is it. We, we are battering them back. You guys can chase them. Let's just keep the chase. This is the issue. Sometimes when things start break, the enemy starts breaking, your formations do break. And sometimes you've got to be careful with that. Because if your formation breaks up too much, you know, if they'd broken in one point, but they managed to bring everything else together, there's, here's the matter out. If they'd managed to bring everything else together, guys... Actually, potentially, we'd have been in quite a lot of trouble there because they could have split our units and started whittling us down. But, you know, in that case, that wasn't the case. We do need to be careful just in case that happens. That was a nice, solid victory there with us massacring all these squishy little people. These squishy little Kislevians, or whatever you call people from Kislev, other than uh, dinner, in the case of some of my trolls. 146 from our berserkers there, nice. And 100 from our from our hounds. I don't really like them, but they did a good job there. Um, so yeah, nice, solid victory there for us. And let's sack that settlement. Many, many kills today. It's still not a great army. So, there. so coastal settlements and major race capitals can be captured and turned outpost nautical factions. Only on the coast you can recruit new troops and replenish your current armies. At the capital you can construct a fully fledged Norsecan settlement. So that's just telling me it's one of the others. So this can be an outpost, um, which these are as well actually. Um, but some of these, the inner ones can actually be... Uh, if capitals can be fully fledged and also can set up, so I want to take help it. Um, Where's my next one? Hmm. I don't want that, need that just yet, but to, to that aim, guys, we are going to actually start building up a bit more here. Oh, we can get some familiar warriors now. now. These guys are interesting. So these are uh, Cyclopean fiends. Uh, I will have to have a proper look at what they are. Because I thought they were the same as the skin wolves. But apparently then they're not. So, uh, yeah. Um, 
So let's get ourselves a couple of skin wolves in here. Another unit of frost giants. Uh, that'll do to start with. Mm. No, we're burning for our, our income there. These are quite expensive units. So some of these guys are going to be being put into the other things. Wolfric himself, as you can see, his straight weapon damage is very good. Um... There we go. And we can get the ability... Oh! Oh, so we don't need... So we can recruit Marauder Champions from these places. And we don't necessarily need to have the full, uh, you know, the armor and things. So that, to me, is going to go join my main army as a mage to be their mage. As fire mage. I know fire mages aren't the best mages, guys. I know shadow mages are better. I prefer fire mages because they have lots of big, fun, impressive-looking spells. Yes, I know that's not how to min-max, but it makes watching what they do more fun. Um, I know that the debuff and buff mages are better, but I just don't enjoy playing with them as much. I don't think they're as a, uh, I don't think they're as fun to watch. I don't think their mechanics as inter as are. No, the mechanics are very interesting. I do use them occasionally, but I I also really like fire mages. Um, we can rename. I'm more than happy to rename heroes, guys, and lesser lords, uh, for people. Um, and I do believe I have to rename that guy after somebody else, somebody, so I'll, I'll check what he wants me to name it, then we'll get it done. Okay, we've got, got that done. Um, hmm. Let's push down that, you, that one next. So that's good for all Marauder units, is good. Let's have a look. Public order all provinces. I'm just trying to find if we've got a global recruitment reduction. Uh, capacity increase. Oh, you have to capture settlements for some of these, which is a an interesting mechanic. Occupied Nagarond, occupied Lothan. They're a long way away. So no, it doesn't look like we can reduce our global, but that's not a huge problem. Um, so obviously these are all new things, which is quite good. Um, and you can see these are all quite good, so uh, yeah, depending on where we're attacking. Anyway, let's have our thing. Uh, da, 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 da. We're good down here. We're probably going to sack that settlement next time. But we are going to, guys... Oh, hang on. Did I stop him recruiting something? Nope. We are going to end this one here, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. We, as I said, we're going to keep the pressure on. We're going to raid and pillage and destroy... Um, Kislev. That's the word I was after. Next. We're also going to take out these, uh, we're going to take out these, uh, Skaven. I don't want them taking too much advantage of what we've got. But what I want them, I want them to spread out a little bit so their armies aren't right on top of their settlement. Then what we'll do is we'll slide in behind them, take their settlement, then wipe out their armies afterwards, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please feel free to leave comments down in the comments. Or jump over to my Discord and say hi there. For also links to my Twitter and my Patreon in the comments and the description. Thank you very much for your time, guys.